Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you probably can tell, this is a slightly different video for me. So in today's video, I'm going to show you this really cool water marbling nail effect. Um, for this, I used China Glaze as I found it was the best nail polish brand to use for water bar marbling. So all you're going to need is some water in a small jar or cup. I'd recommend bottled or distilled water. You'll also need some kind of white nail varnish just to blank out the nails for the base. You then want obviously to pick your colours for it, um, some cell tape to prevent a lot of nail varnish going off your hands, top coat, some nail varnish remover of your choice, some cotton buds to clear things up with and you'll also need a pencil or one of those nail sticks you can get with a pointy end to create your design with. Oh and also some cotton pads just to clean up the pencil. So like I said, first of all you want to blank out your nails with a white nail varnish. Like I said, I'm using China Glaze and this is the white on white nail varnish. Um, you'll then want to put tape around your nails to prevent a whole lot of nail varnish going all over your hands and make it a lot more difficult to tidy up at the end. And then the other two colours I'm using for this effect are DJ Blue My Mind and one track mind. So those are the three colours I'm using today. You can use more colours, you can use less colours, it's entirely up to you. So as you can see I've set taped my nails up and then I'm just going to loosen all the lids of the nail varnishes just to make it easy to just quickly grab them and pop them in the water. Um, so yeah. So literally all you want to do is you just want to drop a bit of the nail varnish into the water and it should expand to the sides like it kind of has done there. If it hasn't completely, it doesn't matter too much as long as the majority has expanded out. And you just literally keep on dropping bits, bits of the nail varnish in like I've done here. Um, and it will kind of create a bullseye effect eventually. You just keep on going till you've got the number of layers you desire. Um, by doing this, it kind of creates a film on top of the water, which I find is really cool. And yeah, then you can create some really cool designs with it. So I'm just going to quickly speed up this dropping the nail varnish in. Now the design I'm doing today isn't a very um, highly skilled designer anyway I'm literally just creating a really cool messy look on the nails you can do more of a specific design if you'd rather I just thought as a beginner's kind of guide to marbling I would just do a very simple design so then you want to take your sharp pencil or a pointy wooden stick and you're going to very lightly on the nail varnish drag it out to the sides from the center I'm just going to do this on all four to create four corners going out as you can see but with a very light hand so you don't break the film on top and each time I take it out I give it a quick wipe then going from halfway in the bullseye effect I'm going to drag it inwards um, and try not to knock it like I've done there but the reason you don't want to go from the outer layer is because that will have set and then that's when it kind of tears the nail varnish apart and tears the film. So as you can see that kind of creates a little flower effect so you could go more with that and create a really specific design but like I said I'm going for quite a messy design um, to start off with so then I'm literally going to just start swirling about in no particular direction or anything like that just to create a really cool fun effect. Then once you've got the design you require, 
you just want to, when you put your fingers in, you want them at a slight angle as you put them in just to pierce the film, as I'm doing here. You can do one at a time if you'd rather, I'm just doing two at a time. Then with the cotton bud, you literally want to swirl it around the water to break the film and to, and it kind of, the nail varnish will then stick to the cotton bud and you can just get rid of all of it so there's no excess um, nail varnish on the top of the water that's going to accidentally ruin your nail varnish as you pull, it, pull your fingers out of the water. So yes, once you've done that, you can just pull them out and you can see it created a really nice cool marble effect. I'm just going to quickly do my other finger, but I am just going to really speed this through because obviously I've just shown you. Then once you've done all of your nails, you can start to peel off your sellotape, but do it very carefully so you don't knock any of the nail varnish that you've already done. Then to tidy up your nails, you want to take your nail varnish. I've popped a little bit in the lid of the nail varnish just to make it easier. I'm actually taking a makeup brush for this because I find it gets in the corners a lot more easily to get rid of the nail varnish. I'm just going to dip it in and then go around the corners of my nails where the sellotape didn't quite cover. And as you'll see once I've finished I haven't completely cleaned the round of my nails properly. That is because I was about to get in the bath and I find the hot water just gets rid of the nail varnish on the skin easily. So that's why they may look a little messy when I finish with this. Then you're going to want to pop your top coat over it. I'm actually using a Rimmel London um, nail nurse. This is actually a base coat and a top coat nail varnish. So I'm just quickly popping that on the nails just to finish this off. And then that is the nail art complete. Like I said, you can go for more specific designs, you can do more flowery patterns, but I decided to just go for a kind of swirly mess as I think it's quite cool. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.